So this will be the tall sitting exploration. So sitting with the ear, shoulder, hip, generally in the same line. We are going to find the sits bones here. So I'm pushing the sits bones and tilting the pelvis forward to get really uprighted and sprouted. I feel a lot more hip flexor activation here, which is fine. And then I can explore putting the tailbone on the ground as well. And then I get more of an even curvature through the spine here. I can let go, I can hold myself up. I'm generally gonna feel more lower abdominal activation, less hip flexors. So those are the two extremes, tailbone, sits bones, and then I can go somewhere in between or a bunch of different points in between. And I can oscillate between all those different points and then grab a block and um, I'm going to feed the block down the back from one of those starting points and take the block with the other hand, go back and try to find the same one, back and forth. So I can do the pass off starting under or overhand. I can go slow, I can use a ball later to make this even more difficult. As you can see here, this one's really tough for me to do. I kind of have to balance it or drop it. So try going into different positions and testing what muscle activation you find in the core. Do the pass offs. You don't have to use a block. You could just do the swimmers articulations as well. Going real slow, async or all together in sync from the different postures. But just play around, explore, activate the core in different ways, play with the pelvic position, see which ones you like best, which seems like it needs more work. Those are the ones to encourage more repetitions and time spent. Um, and don't overdo it. If you feel like something's totally gassing out, try a different posture and continue or stand up 